All right, so first off, why don't you tell me a bit about the team behind the game? Yeah, sure thing. So, uh, I'm Andreas from Nosebleed Interactive. Uh, we're a micro studio, I guess you could call us, uh, up in Newcastle upon Tyne. First game was published by Sony on PlayStation Vita. Vostok Inc., our second uh, game, is being published by Badland Games. So, it's coming to PlayStation 4, PlayStation Vita, Xbox One, and PC. And the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One versions are going to have physical release as well as digital. With like nice art manual in the box and all that cool stuff that you don't get these days very often. No, you don't at all. <laughs> um, so, so, before we jump into it, why don't you give a brief sort of background we'll game story? We'll yeah, sure thing. So, uh, yeah, Vostok Inc. It's uh, the Wolf of Wall Street in space. So, uh, it's uh, it's kind of an odd one to, to talk about. Is that, is that minus the drugs? <laughs> it, it's minus the drugs. We have we have some we have we have Scottish water that's in a, in a uh, whiskey decanter, and we have fizzy grape juice, yeah. But, um, but yeah, we to keep the age ratings as not actually alcohol references. Gotcha. Um, yeah, so the idea, it's a kind of a mixture of lots of genres, but um, at its heart, it's a twin stick shooter, held together with kind of a, a, an idle click and letter game. So, like, it's born out of a bit of a frustration with, like, um, twin stick shooters, so I absolutely loved like Geometry Wars and Super Stardust and like Rezo Gun, or so that's strictly mouse, speaking about twin stick. Um, but I only ever played them for like sort of five, ten minutes at a time. So I'd play it, and I'd be like, oh, that was, oh, that was intense, that was great, but now I need to play something else. So with Vostok, what we're trying to do is give you this kind of like give you sort of short term, mid term, and long term goals and a real sense of pro progression. So you're doing that two minutes of intense gameplay and then going and landing on planets and building stuff. So the, the game is about making money. Alright, so I'll, let's I'll jump you... right in. So whereabouts does this start off? Is this early on? This is the, uh, yeah, I've reset the I've reset the demo, so you're going to have tutorial guy telling you stuff. Jimmy, in fact, Jimmy, Jimmy Goldman. So yeah, he'll show you the ropes and help you make oh, Bostocking the richest, most awesome company in the galaxy, no, the world. So <laughs> left stick to fly out, right stick to shoot. Uh, right, oh yeah, the tutorials are slightly broken. You know, work in progress. Um, right trigger to boost, and then later on you can unlock some stuff on the left trigger, so you can unlock bullet time. But we'll do that later on. I'll let you have a play first. Um, so the idea is everything in the game, every, everything that you shoot, every baddie that you kill, or actually you're the bad guy, so every goodie that you kill. Oh right. Um, drops moolah which is the universal currency and you use that to upgrade your ship and build stuff on planets to generate more moolah so this is your store for upgrading your ship not got any cash at the moment so it might be worth having a fly about some i think there should be some asteroids up the top here somewhere yeah so there we go so shoot the asteroids um and they'll drop moolah we do quite a bit of sort of under the hood stuff in the game and we do a few things to frustrate the player as well um intentionally so that we then have some solutions to those frustrations that the player just to, for example when you build stuff on planets you'll you have to go back there to collect it but like to collect the cash that you've generated um, no no you can make well it does have a cap but you would have to play the game for thousands and thousands <laughs> of years I think um, so we go up to I think we go up to just in terms of the naming of the money, I think we go up to something like 10 to the power of 105 or something like that. I, I can't even remember what those are, but it's like, you know, I think we, I think in terms of real playthroughs, you should be topping out as like octillions or nonillions or decillions, but we keep going in terms of what the game can, can do. Ah, so because you killed the first guy, I'm spawning a bit of storyline here, so it's not United very... Federation of Solar. Yeah, UFO. <laughs> so was there any sort of, um, with the art style, was there any back and forth with different styles, or were you quite set on the one style from the get-go? Do you know what, we, like, the game started life as a kind of a, um, like an internal game jam, so we, we had the core mechanics of flying around, shooting stuff, collecting stuff, landing on planets and building stuff, like, within the first day, and and our artist was actually on holiday, so it was just sort of two of us doing it. Um, 
I'm not an artist, although I've done quite a lot of the UI and stuff. So we just kind of thought, well, what can we? Well, let's make it dead simple. And I'd, I'd been watching um, a YouTube channel at the time that that was just really good fun uh, called Kurtzgazard, and they have this really lovely sort of art style. I basically thought, well, let's make it a bit like that. So it's kind of similar to that, but it's changed a little. So what are we aiming to go for first as a sort of upgrade? In terms of upgrades here, um, nothing really because I can't. Get yeah, you can't afford to. Do you know what? Shall I? Shall I show you this stuff yeah, and then? All right, I'll I'll take us to a planet first, and I and I'll explain how to get the the big money. Where are we? Here we are. So they all have a rotation axis. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The planets rotate round slowly. Actually, the ones on the outside rotate round slightly faster. Um, but right, yeah. So I can now land on a planet and. If you've not played an idle clicker, I'll go through the mechanics, but if you had, have, then you know that they are super addictive yeah. and I have poured probably hundreds of hours of research into <laughs> research. playing the, these Does idle that games. Sound work doing oh, yeah, research yeah, work. yeah, exactly, exactly. Like, yeah, I'm not even sure if I enjoy the ones that I've played, but I can't stop playing them. Yeah, it's just so addictive. <laughs> so yeah, the idea is basically, I'm going to build a mine, it costs 25 moolah to build, uh, I'll build a load of them. Each time I build one, it gets extra Potentially more expensive. Is now there I'm. A limit to how many you can make on one planet? No, no, you can build forever on the planet. Um, so I'm now generating 0.9 moolah per second. Uh, in order to unlock the next building type, I've got to do some kind of short-term objectives, like build at least one mine on three planets, shoot X number of asteroids, uh, you know, do this race point-to-point, -point, you've got point-to-point racing that unlocks later in the game, play these many games, and you can see, you know, this one costs 2.5 trillion and generates uh, 75 million, uh, yeah, R&D lab, a casino costs... Is that the same for each upgrade level, we'll just keep unlocking more criteria for each upgrade? Upgrade. So, so again, Each sorry? upgrade level of the buildings, is, do you just have to get a new criteria? No, so, so it's just the building unlocks that have the criteria. The upgrades to these things, so strip mining, cut costs by not providing miners with clothes, um, that just costs a straight 500 and will double the moolah. In fact, if we just wait a few seconds, I can buy that and now I'm generating 1.8 per second. Uh, okay. And actually, I think I might have hacked the economy so it's ticking a bit faster for the demo, uh, purpose of the demo. So, since we've done this... Oh, in fact, yeah, just one more thing. So, yeah, we do a few things to uh, annoy the player intentionally. So, at the moment, if I take off from here, I can pause the game and the game's still generating cash. So I can go make a cup of tea or have, a, have an interview. Yeah. <laughs> um, and the game is generating cash. However, I have to go back to the planet to collect that cash. Uh, Just at the point that that starts getting frustrating, you'll be able to afford the thing that automatically <laughs> collects it for you. Oh, so it's right. that sort of thing where the player's like, oh, this is a bit annoying. Oh, oh, right, it's not. Oh, cool, okay. So now we've done this, I will go and we should be starting to get attacked by enemies kind of now because we don't spam you with too many enemies until the tutorial's over. Um, but since I am the developer, I'll open the uh, cheat menu and okay. give us a load of cash so I can get some cool weapons and stuff. So, ship upgrades. I'll just quickly... This is not artwork, this is the debug yeah. menu. Just... Uh, <laughs> so, um, your map, you'll notice, is a bit rubbish. There's yeah. nothing on there apart from Mother Base. Right. So it seems a bit pointless. Everything in the game costs money. So I've now bought my planet indicator so I can go in here, I can track a planet, it'll show me how far away it is and it'll show me on the actual radar itself. Manager indicator, so this adds a whole lot of gameplay so we'll come back to this because there's quite a lot to talk about on this one. Wormhole indicator, that's the level exit, so we have six solar systems in total, each one has its own adaptive audio system, kind of synth, synth sort of 80s vibe. Um, its own boss, its own enemy types, its own kind of visuals, and its own kind of story strand. Uh, enemies will show up, races will show up, so you can kind of do point to point checkpoint races, boss will show up, uh, asteroids will show up. 
and so on. Then we have ship upgrades, so we have the space-time distortion field, so if I buy this you'll now be able to slow down time with the left trigger, like bullet time basically, yeah. and I'll get you some speed and maneuverability upgrades as well, because I can. Oh, in fact, hang on, I'll just go... Sex, 10 sextillion to do. So you even have to buy the end credits to the game, which cost a quadrillion. <laughs> if you buy the end credits, you go into the pause menu, and you've now unlocked the end credits to the game, which is a, uh, like, pixel, a 16-bit sort of arcade pixel shooter. And this has its own waves of enemies, and its own power-ups. Oh, oops. Um, so yeah, a playable thing. Yeah. And the game, the economy is still ticking in the background, so I'm still making cash on the planet. Um, and we have our weapons system, which I'm quite fond of. Um, so you can upgrade the weapon power for as long as you want. You can map on the D-pad your weapon favourite, so you can quickly switch in game. And we have three base weapon classes, so machine gun, laser, and missile. And you've got the same here, machine gun, laser, and missiles. And machine guns, lasers, and missiles. If you go machine gun plus machine gun, you get shotgun. Machine gun, machine gun, machine gun gives you the obliterator, minigun basically. Then you add a laser in there, it gives you this. So we've got kind of quite a few different weapons. Yeah, yeah, there's, uh, uh, I think it's 19. Or 20. Okay. Um, I'll just give you my favourites. Unicorns, of course. Obviously, of course. not taking ourselves too seriously. Um, oh, this one's cool as well, actually. I'll stick this one on as well. So, I'll let you have a play with these weapons. Uh, D pad to switch, and you can now, with the left trigger, do um, slow down time. So, yeah, if you try, yeah, so you can now move this, these things around. So enemies That's are, helpful. Yeah. My, my favourite's the big mega beam thing. Where is it? Uh, yeah, that one's, that one's cool. So we, like, we make the player feel like a badass. Yeah, that, that's exactly. kind of the intention. It looks like a quite a Definitely feels hardcore. like you're doing, making progress when you buy this kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, so he's telling you about races. If you're interested, you can go for it. But oh, actually, yeah, I forgot to mention these guys. So this guy, if you don't kill him in time, and the first one, we don't give you a lot of time because we want you to get into this. So previously, the enemies that you've seen, they are all kind of AI driven. In these screen lock battles, we give you three waves of kind of and set up levels. We've got 10 of those spread across the six solar systems. Unicorn gun's not too bad either, it's nice and fast. So it sort of turns into a bullet hell. Yeah. It's what, sorry? It turns into sort of like a bullet hell mini game. Yeah, yeah, and, and you can slow down time as well if you, yeah. Like I say, we kind of empower the player to yeah. try and make them feel like they're a badass. I mean, the, the sort of levelling is out of whack now because we've cheated and got too much money and bought a load of guns that we shouldn't really be able to afford at this point. But and also, we burnt 73 salads. <laughs> just have some, some nonsense stats in there. It's the only stat that I ever read is the nonsense one. Um, would it be wise to go for a boss or no? You can do, yeah, yeah, you'll be able to with these weapons, but um, just before you do, there should be a, a manager turn up at some point, soonish. So there'll be like a little yellow blip and tutorial guy will tell you about it because it's the first one. Um, there we go. Yeah, so if you race to this guy, we've got a few different manager types, but the most important ones are the execs, and hopefully the first one will be an exec. Sometimes it is difficult, sometimes it's difficult. So, yeah, here we go. So, if you collect this guy, you've recruited me. Um, so, is that if I grab the controller a sec. So, basically, these guys. Um, there's a few different manager types, but the, the execs give you quite a lot of extra stuff. So, the idea with these is they give you a production boost when they're happy. I don't know if you remember Tamagotchis at all. Yeah, yeah. So, um, 
Um, basically, you keep me happy. It's me in a hot tub full of cash, actually. It's literally Tabacon. <laughs> so, you... Oh, I've not got any of the items, but basically you keep them happy by giving them like champagne and caviar. Well, not champagne, fizzy, fizzy grape fizzy juice. Grape juice yeah. <laughs> uh, but caviar and, you know, yeah. sports cars and that sort of stuff. Um, and each of these has their own little mini game as well, so, you know, they're kind of... Uh, I can't think of the name of this, but yeah, I know what you mean. Timberman. Which is bloody brilliant. <laughs> um, and everyone should go and download the mobile version of Timberman, which we are paying homage to rather than ripping off. Yes. <laughs> um, I'll unlock all of these, actually. So we've got um, 12... So where do you go to buy the fizzy grape juice to keep them happy? So you get very rare drops from uh, enemies, but you also earn them from playing the mini games. So uh, Cave Chopper, for example, that's my daughter. Cave Chopper in this one. Um, you'll get basically you'll get these little food items coming across, and you just collect them. So you kind of. I'll just give myself game over. Yeah, so we've got a whole bunch of these, like, you know, we've, in fact, we've even got a twin stick shooter in a twin stick shooter. Oh, okay. Uh, zombie combat. Uh, and yeah, these get faster and faster as time progresses, so you're always going to end up with game over. Uh, everyone's favourite one seems to be this one, though. Space later. So, A to start. Oh, okay. Yeah, if you see a diamond, that would be one of the items to pick up. So you've got a lot of classic. Yeah, yeah, we kind of. I'm, I'm a. I'm a total sort of old school gamer and new school gamer. Okay. Yeah, see they don't sell alcohol at this bar. It's water for 39, 39 moolah it should be. Cola, 599.99. Um, yeah, so that's uh, kind of boss talk in. I mean, take it to a boss fight if you like. We're totally overpowered for this boss, so it's going to be over in no time. Um, where is he? Somewhere here. No, oh, actually. Get ready. Uh, what do you unlock by defeating this boss? Is it just access to new areas? Yeah, access to the next solar system. So the boss will only spawn when you've got enough money okay. to buy the wormhole. And in order to use the wormhole, you have to defeat the boss. We did have some fancy key name thing, but I can't remember what it was. It's somewhere, it's somewhere in there. Um, I think. Or did we decide not to bother? Yeah, so I'm, I'm sort of beating yeah, this way too quickly, yeah. So we, we have this combo system as well, so the higher, like you'll see I'm doing like 1.4 damage, the higher your combo rises, the more damage you do. And so certain weapons are really good for building combos or maintaining combos, and other ones aren't. But you can kind of quickly switch between the two. And then... Nice. So yeah, that's Vostok Inc. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Cheers.